Welcome back as Steam's Black Friday sale is going on. Witcher 3 is selling at a historical low price of rupees 179 in India. In US, it's selling for around four dollars, 90 percent off discount. This is the base game, but I would recommend buying the complete edition, which is selling for around rupees 479 in India. After an 80 percent off discount in US, complete edition is selling for 10 dollars. The complete edition includes the base game in addition to the two paid expansion story packs. Witcher 3 is one of the greatest video games ever made, no doubt about it. Features a gorgeous looking open world for us to explore, set in a medieval fancy realm, has an engaging story and a beautiful score. You're going to have a great time playing this game. In this video, I'll be testing it on my ROG Ally that comes with Windows 11 Radeon 780M GPU. We'll show you how to use the int 8 model of FSR 4 upscaler in conjunction with XCSS frame generation. I'll use OptiScaler mod to achieve this. I tried using the latest preview 5 version 0.9 build of OptiScaler but it was causing the display to flicker with XCFG enabled at lower FPS values but everything worked fine with preview 1 version 0.9 build but that build comes with FSR 3.1 upscaler the latest version of FSR has a different file structure it uses an AMD loader file separate files for FSR upscaler and FSR frame generation three files in total so I'll be replacing preview 1 builds FSR file with preview 5 builds FSR files. In this way, we'll be able to use the intake model of FSR 4 upscaler with OptiScaler mods preview 1 build. Sale on Witcher 3 will be live until 11 December 2025. Yeah, just go to OptiScaler's Discord server. From here, you need to download OptiScaler version 0.9 preview 1 test build. Click on the .7z link here. Now scroll down to the end. Grab the latest version of preview 5 build at the time of recording this video it's version 0.9 preview 5 proper click on a dot 7 z link download will start fsr sdk was leaked three months ago it included files corresponding to the intake model of fsr4 these files could be used to compile an fsr dll big thanks to reddit user athlete dependent 906 for doing this and sharing the file with the community just click on the go file link here from this page you need to download amd fidelity fx subscalar tx12.tll file click on download here download will start now i'll install optiscaler mod first open preview one builds archive file select the highlighted files optiscaler.ini mods configuration file optiscaler.tll optiscaler mod loader file libxcss underscore fg.tll xcss frame chain file libxcss.tll xcss super resolution file for tx12 and vulkan aps libxcll.tll xss low latency mode file they can be api.inf they can be api.tll replace in game reflex implementation with xcll select amd okay this file is not required don't select it we have selected seven files in total right click copy need to paste them in the games install directory select the game in your steam library right click manage click on browse local files open bin folder open x64 underscore tx12 folder paste the files here this game does support xcss subscalar yeah replace the file just change the name of optiscaler.tll file to txgi.tll mod has been installed now open preview 5 builds archive file and select the highlighted files AMD Fidelity FX Upscaler TX12.TLL AMD Fidelity FX Frame Generation TX12.TLL for using Frame Gen FSR AMD Fidelity FX TX12.TLL AMD Loader File Right click Copy Open the Games Install Directory Open Bin Folder X64 Underscore TX12 Folder Paste the three files here now i'll install the intake model of fsr4 just copy its amd fidelity fx upscaler tx12.tll file that you download it from reddit you need to paste it in the games install directory where we install optiscaler mod bin folder x64 underscore tx12 right here replace the existing file and we are done adrenaline settings for the game freezing vsync on i have set the uma buffer size to 5GB, my ally is running on BIOS version 3.4.2, install ally's latest official GPU driver optimized for Black Ops 7. You need to run the game at full HD resolution, otherwise XCFG won't work properly. 
don't run the game at 720p or 900p resolution using a 28 watts manual profile all three power values set at 28 watts cpu boost disable connected my fly dg beta 4 pro controller to ally via bluetooth mode x input controller now this game supports dlss frame generation and comes with streamline version 1 so we cannot use dlss gy streamline as the frame generation source for enabling xcfg we need to use OptiFG upscaler as the frame generation source also need to use hardfix this is why i won't be using rdss and afterburner to show you the performance stats We'll simply use Adrenaline's performance only. I'll run the game in Xbox full screen experience mode. Switch to it. I'll have restarted full screen experience mode. There's Witcher 3. Select C in Steam. Steam is launching. Play. In game display settings. Display mode set to borderless window. Full HD resolution. V Sync off. No FPS cap applied. Reflex on. Graphic settings. Using the medium preset. Upscaler DLSS using its performance preset use the upscalers preset depending on how powerful your GPU is screen space ambient occlusion SSAO screen space reflections high post processing effects disabled like motion blur blur bloom depth of field chromatic ablation vignetting light shafts camera lens effects hair works off restaurant settings medium enable at red lens performance only there it is. Once the game loads up, just open OptiScaler menu by pressing the insert keyboard key. There it is. I'll increase the menu size. Click on the top down bar next to menu UI scale. Set the value to 1.5. Yeah, much better. Upscaler used XCSS 2.0.2 input in game DLSS. DXJS spoofing off by default. Auto export setting is on. I'll switch to FSR4. Click on the top down bar next to change upscale and select FSR 3.0. Access the option. Click on change upscaler again. The FSR 4 is working. Model setting set to default. Automatically selected model 0 for me. Incorrect model, but we cannot change it, so leave it at default value. Model 0 is actually for the game running at native resolution. FSR A. Frame generation disabled for the time being. I'll enable OptiScaler's performance only. Expand FPS only section. Check the setting FPS only enable. Full plus graph scale 1.6 base resolution 960 by 540 pixels upscale to full HD performance mode of FSR save and I close I am standing at the entrance of Noigrad there is Carol and Roach FPS here is within a range of 40 to 45 FSR 4 is working oh my god image quality it's looking so sharp this is amazing and I am using the performance preset of FSR difficult to believe that it's not native full HD resolution. Geralt's armor is looking so detailed. Chainmail armor. You can see the fine textures. I'll traverse the area on horseback. Enter Novigrad. Lot of NPCs here. Good for testing the game. Yeah, we are hitting the GPU bottleneck as expected. VRAM usage here is around 3.5 GB. VRAM usage can be variable, depends on the area. No, I mean, no, we cried. Yeah, FPS dropped to around 35, 35 to 40. See the NPCs. No signs of stuttering. Game runs very nicely on raw ally. We are forced to run the game at full HD resolution in order to get XCFG working properly. This makes the game very heavy on the GPU. We'll be getting far better performance when running the game at 720p or 900p resolution image quality will still look sharp on LS small display yeah 35 to 40 fps now I'll enable XCFG open mod menu click on the top turn bar next to FG source select off the FG upscaler as the option click on the top turn bar next to FG output and select XCFG as the option save INI close we start the game Play. Once the game loads up, just open OptiScaler menu. Check the setting active under frame generation XCFG. This will enable XCSS frame gen. Now, if you don't enable hardfix settings, games hard elements will flicker. Crosshair will also flicker. I'll just equip my bow 
observe the crosshair there is the flickering see so you need to enable hotfix setting set the limit value to 1 check debug view setting yeah, if xcss frame jam is working you will see these purple sidebars flickering and check this setting current method mentioned under frame rate section xcll xcss low latency mode i'll just show you the crosshair yeah flickering is gone hotfix is working properly games hard elements they are also not exhibiting any flickering you can test the smoothing effect of xcfg by applying a 30 fps gap from the in-game settings max fps set to 30 resume the game xcfg is enabled spinning the camera just check out the animation quality still looking smooth fps 55 to 60 i'll just disable xcfg to give you an idea about the real performance active setting uncheck back to the game and check out the animation quality it's looking so choppy fps it's around 30 make sure you're watching the video at 60 fps so xcfg definitely helps in improving the performance enable the setting again uncap the fps back to the game getting around 60 fps latency it's manageable just enter no regret get yeah, shadow it's not flickering barely any artifacts are produced around his character model tearing lag effect is not present around the left and right edges of the display i am expecting an fps within a range of 50 to 60 in novigrad i have my sword equipped i want to holster it but i don't remember the controls now Yeah, it's a smooth experience. VRAM usage is close to 4 GB. Enabling frame generation increases the VRAM usage. Made to the marketplace. So that's it with the video guys. I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.